want to, as I always do in post-game situations, congratulate the opponent. Um, certainly wasn't Texas's day, uh, but I can't say enough nice things about Matt Brown. I've been able to be on trips with him, not a more first-class human being, and a guy uh, who runs a program with great integrity. So hats off to him. It's a it's a huge thrill for our program to come in here and play this kind of this kind of environment and, and to be able to play the way we did uh, and, and to go in there and feel like now. You know, maybe we'll get closer to being a, a program that can be counted on and, and, and back where our roots are as, as a top program in the country. Certainly don't mistake what I'm saying that we're in, in that category yet, but there's certainly reason to believe it can happen when you go and you play the way we played today and, and, and you, you, you can't wait to go back to work and fix some of the things that kept us from making it even a cleaner day. But, uh, Hats off to our defense, we really set the tone in the first half with the turnovers. Uh, hats off to our offense, which came out and really controlled the ball in the second half. Two long scoring drives and a clock eating drive that kind of uh, took the air out of the sails uh, of Texas. And, and you know, I'm just thrilled to death for those kids in there who, and I reminded them as soon as we got in there, we were 0 2. It was 14 days ago. And the world was looking at us like, what's the matter with you guys? And calling us names and so forth. And what we mustered up in the way of pride and, and dedication to each other can't be lost just because now we get to enjoy a wonderful victory. We've got to keep whatever that feeling was as our energy gets better and hopefully continue to improve the football team as we get back now into the Pac-10 Conference. But for a night, it, uh, it's a great win, and uh, fun to see those kids have that kind of celebration. Questions? Where, is, where do you rank this uh, win in your coaching career? Oh, it's up there. You know, uh, winning in the great environments of college football, especially when you're a college football fan, like I am. You know, I, I, if I weren't doing this, I'd be traveling like all the people travel to the games, and because it's, there's nothing like the pomp and circumstance of college football. Uh, so to go to this great shrine of a, of a field and stadium and, and play like we did is, is great, just, just as it was a year ago against Tennessee. And, you know, those are those are memories for a long, long time. Coach, talk about the further development of the pistol offense. We're getting there. Uh, you know, Kevin, you can feel him start to really get it. Uh, and again, you can't ever figure out what it cost us and him by him missing training. Right now. And just you know, all those reps and all those chances and all those pictures that you get to store in your memory banks are gone. And so we, we're going, we have to get, go through some growing pains. I mean, that's the way I'm choosing to look at it. I'm sure there are more in store for us as we continue. We still have to figure out how to fit the passing game to it. But uh, that was a thing of beauty, that drive where we kept the clock kept moving and hit a couple of third down passes over there to Nelson. That was, uh, that's what good football teams can do. And so I'm, I'm very pleased uh, for everybody, but mindful that there's still a lot to do to be the kind of offense that we want to be and to use more of our weapons. You know, uh, there's, there's, we recruit some great kids. They need chances to touch the ball and, and do the same things that they're capable of doing. Coach, the, uh, there was a early you scored very quickly right after that. Could you talk about how important that swing was right there? You got that seven, and uh, it just seemed like it kind of... Yeah, we squandered an early turnover when Cassius Marsh picked up the fumble and went down there and tried a little, as the analysts call it, trickeration. <laughs> and uh, just was a little overthrown, and, and uh, then unfortunately took a sack, put Kai back home for 50 yards, and he just missed it wide left, so I was very angry at myself for letting miss in that scoring opportunity, but uh, to get the ball back like that but after another turnover, it was a great punt by Jeff. I'm not sure where he was when he actually fielded the ball. Was he inside the five? Right around. Yeah, they're going uh, you know, to, to, to get that kind of ball back and then Ricky to score there was uh, a huge lift. Rick, can you talk about the, uh, the opening drive in the second half and just how critical maybe that was to well, you know, we came in at halftime, and, and I just kept going over it, over and over. The hope isn't how we're going to win this game. We're not going to hope for the clock to run out. We're not going to hope 
that uh, they keep making mistakes. We, we got to go out and, and fight every snap of the way and enjoy the fight in, 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 a, in a figurative speak, in a term. Enjoy the, the competition and, and mono e mono. It's us. Each guy's got a job to do. We got to do it. And for us to go and kind of have that kind of drive, it was a huge thing for our defense.